Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Well, okay, it's Jurassic here. Today we're back with Marvel Spider-Man. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. Oh, is that all we have to do? Alright, so let's see here. I mean, technically we should be able just to go in from the top. No one will notice. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. Alright, so we got a light and we need to go up, it looks like. There we go. A security module. Oh, can we hack it through the wall? These around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. All right, so while we do this, we have to find a way to dodge all of their different lasers on their guns. So we'll wait a second for this dude to pass around us, then we'll head up back up top. See what we got next. Let's see something along these lines. Can't necessarily run too fast to the right or else. Ooh. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing. All right, so we need to go up and around, right around here. What? All agents, someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Well, I mean, I'm not too surprised that they have drones. They are a little bit crazy on everything else around here. But we are going to have to find a way to dodge it all a little bit faster. Please maintain current alert level. All right, so they're up and around. Where's the sniper shot going? Is it our height or up? Looks like we're good to go. We can dodge that. There's a small Ooh. possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing now. Stay vigilant. Go and hack this real quick. Another subsystem is going offline. Should just be one more to go. Copy control. Bird inbound. Got him. All right, so the helicopter is going to complicate things. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Yeah, don't do anything we want to do. Find that last module. There's there we go. Nice. Point. That wasn't too bad. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call. We keep tracking. There must be someone out there. So these guys definitely need to get fired. There's only one place that you have to look for the substation, so you may as well have all your cameras on that. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against- Can't eavesdrop or anything. I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable b &E right now. Pompous son of a bitch! You're lying! Jackpot. Did he leave? 
GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. Chief scientist Dr. Morgan Michaels observed GR27 experiment allocation redacted, summarized GR27 status, expedience, and risk. Recommended next step. AI controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's, this is crazy. Pair CRISPR genome editing with AI controlled gRNA to identify and replace genetic mutations and errors. The good, high efficiency, constant results. The bad, brow delivery mechanisms incorrectly targeting immune system infected subjects highly contagious. One subject exposed seven days later, all 40 subjects deceased. Creepy. That's just creepy. Oh. GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. The infected subject could trigger a global epidemic. Lab techs named it Devil's Breath. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Continue development? Mr. Osborne believes the reward is worth the risk. Maintain secrecy. If this one gets out, the PR nightmare could bring down all of Oscorp. Mitigation risk of exposure? Dr. Michaels should be... Have to only sample of his person on at all times. Oh, is that all we had to do? Hey, Pete, what's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. All right, so all we gotta do is break open into a fort out in the complete open where no webs can actually be stuck onto. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Well. 15 minutes earlier. Reach him. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. I love how our plan is to do this knowing that at the end of the result, we're still going to get captured. Promising. Just need to distract the guard. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit? What was that? Gotta move. Now. Okay, so that's not a spider web. That's just the noise maker. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Alright, so we need him to go to the right. Well. If we get him over this way, that would work also. That's right, buddy. Keep on going that way. As long as he doesn't look up the stairs, he'll be fine. That's right, you saw nothing? <laughs> that was a little bit close, but you know what? We made it. What's Who's that? that guy? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Alright, so we got the photo. 
Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. What exactly is the plan, though? And why would they block the staircase? That makes no sense. Standish is secure, ma'am. Lockout comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's breath. On it. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. There we go. You saw nothing? That's right. Your job is to fix the generator. We're going to sneak in here. No one's going to look around. And we can just walk right on past you while you do your work. We're good to go. Alright, so we got another noisemaker we can do. It looks like all we need to do is go straight. So we're going to have to find a way to lure the guy in the middle somewhere to the right, this guy to the left, and run straight across. Are they distracted now? You saw nothing? Get that truck moving. Should have been town half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. I have no clue how that worked. But awesome. Alright, so hold on. So let's get over here to this side. We got this guy watching us right now. There you go, buddy. Go that way. <sighs> Made it. Alright, so this will take us up the stairs. We got another noisemaker, so we need to be careful. There has to be another dude around here. Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Understood, ma'am. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. Control, the hell Status. is that? Nothing to report. All right, so hopefully that makes him go over to the right side and we can run up the left. Let's not push all the boxes. You saw nothing. That's right, go inspect some stuff and things. We'll run past you. And somehow we managed to make this just running across. Okay, so we can only take one photo of it. I was trying to get a little bit better angle, but it wasn't working. Can't believe Michael's just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Uh so we could turn the generator off, but theoretically that should only bring that dude over there. Run across here. We're all good right now. Boom. We toss this down. Make him get distracted. So if we toss you over that way so he gets pulled to the right. This dude also needs to get pulled to the right, though. And we'll just walk them across the street. So like here. Then we can run in the back alleyway. So let's see if we can squeeze through here just like so. I think we actually did it. We got one dude to the right, one dude to the left. We could bring that dude over like in this corner here. The other dude focusing on the others. <laughs> that guy didn't get ran over. I didn't cause it. Don't you dare point your gun at me. All right, so you. Why does he have a question mark? I didn't even know he was there, but. We gotta wait. Do we have to wait? I mean, he's looking the other way. You saw nothing. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. 
Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the was hell? not a Sable guy. <laughs> Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. She seems happy. Maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, hey, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Dreal Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the pizza shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his Don't first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Flatbush Avenue. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On sure, it. Doc. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Doc loves these things. Use them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. This is it, Peter. Our breakthrough. The neural is anything else we look at? on the map. All right, so he's definitely about to turn into a super villain. Any day now. So hold on, so let's come over here and help him actually do this. All right, so current response 5.7 milliseconds we need under three. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Opponent found power relay. All right, so target voltage is only one. All right, so our actual voltage is zero. We need a target of one. So we're going to have to start with attempting to get over to this side because that's the only place that we can actually place our voltage regulators. So let's just go ahead and rotate this around. It's going to have a downwards arrow here. So let's do a standard default one. 
See if we can rotate one of these guys around to match the polarity. We are going to need to have another bend right here. So do we have any that actually fit? See how this is going to be going the wrong direction here. But if we use this over on this side, we should be able to have something work out towards like the end there, for example. Might need to have a regular one here. So we'll just store that for now. Do something like that. So we do have two straights. We'll place you down. Grab this other straight to move him around over here. And we need to have one more bend. So hopefully this guy actually lines up with what we need. All right, so we need to grab one of the regular ones. Boom, that'll complete that circuit. And now we just need one more piece at the very top. Like so. Nice. Okay, what next? All right, so 4.9 milliseconds. So we still have a little bit left. All right, so this deal, we have to sit here and rotate it down because it's not actually going to be able to go up that way. We got another bend here that we can do. So what is the target voltage for? We actually have six right now. We will deal with that here in a second, but let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff up and running. Then we'll worry about that. But we do have straight, so hold on. So if we do you, but we don't have a bend. But we could do minus two, send it on out some. So that means we just need to move you over to this side. And then just have straight boom, connect that on through and just ignore the one that was already placed. Finished. All right, so 3.6. So we're almost there, but we got 0.6 milliseconds off. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. All right, so we need a target voltage of five. We got several different options here. Let's start with the negative. We'll just do negative three and see what we actually need from the rest. So we are going to use a bend here. We'll go ahead and use up the polarity arrows. That way it just we don't have to worry about it later on, basically. We'll add plus two right now. So we got minus one actual voltage. We'll worry about the increasing here in a second. And this is where we can kind of pick and choose which ones we actually want to use. So right now we got a minus two and a minus one. So we got negative three. We only have a plus two right now. We are going to need to use one more bend. So let's see here. Do we have any? There we go. So that guy should work. We got a straight. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So we'll use regular arrows. Turn you around over to this side. Right, there we go. Boom. That'll connect into this guy. So now we need to have a plus four. That's going to connect it in here and a plus two. That should give us our five. Once we rotate it around, boom. 2.8 milliseconds. That's within target range. That should be good to go. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable.
Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... It can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. I like how we just look at the cover and we're like, yep, we know exactly what that's about. Hold on, what's this on the board? Carbon fiber shell. More flexibility, sensors. All right, so he is starting to lose it a little bit. I was wondering whenever they were juggling, it actually showed like the hands popping out of like the human hands and going for like a long, tall leg shape. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. So I don't remember if he actually had that regenerative disease. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It could also save my own. I just need more time. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Alright guys, that's Queen Spirit for today. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.